Hi guys, this is Susan. Welcome to my database of the week. I chose to explore Scholastic Go. Uh, it's a K through 12 database uh, that's owned and run by Scholastic. And this is the home page. Uh, they just have a basic search bar here. Uh, they have a photo that they change every week and you can click on this tag. What is this image to read more? There's a, a video on the topic and there's also the, the search result page on the topic linked. Uh, there's also this quick link to their video library. Um, and so you can see it's very user friendly, it's streamlined, it's designed with kids in mind. So here's their major, their, their main search result page. Right now we're looking at everything. We're looking at articles, images, video, more info, and websites. I think younger students are probably not going to you know, pay attention to this toggling feature here. I think it's helpful that they have everything laid out in one page and there's other places so you can click more images here as another way to get to that image page you can click on the videos here to go directly to the videos so there's multiple ways to find things uh, more information is showing you related searches websites I think that's really neat they're showing you websites that might be helpful to that topic and then articles so they have a really nice color coding system showing you the grade level. A lot of kids are going to just filter that way and say I'm in sixth grade, so I'm going to look at the five through eight range. There's a helpful box here for teachers to see the Lexile level, uh, and then that is listed next to the result as well. Um, and now that we're in this search page, we can we can click on the advanced search option, and it opens this window, which is kind of simple, but and again, you know user-friendly and approachable for kids. It's a great tool to teach them how to do an advanced search. And there is quite a bit of functionality, even though it looks simple. So full text or title only. There's a proximity operator here. You can also use truncation symbols success successfully. I tried it out. Um, and there's the Lexile range. So this is a great way to teach them about Boolean operators. Rather than having them do a drop down and select and or or like we're accustomed to seeing in adult databases it's explaining what it does so any of these words none of these words all of these words let's say this is a great way to teach them about what these operators are doing if you put in chinese cuisine and you search that first of all it shows you the search phrase here and the operator or so i, I that's a great teaching tool but now you see that generates a ton of results and as we know, it's going to have some that are very relevant if you're looking for Chinese cuisine specifically, and then a ton that aren't because it's just looking at things that have the word cuisine in it. And I'm sure there's a ton of results that just have the word Chinese in it. So it's a great teaching tool to use the advanced search feature. But I'm just going to demonstrate some of its functionality here by doing a little proximity search with bear and salmon. You can see the symbol, proximity symbol up there. And this is only producing six results, all of which are above Lexile level 1,000, so it's levels three and four. Um, but that was a kind of specific search just to kind of show you that it is capable of doing advanced searches. Uh, there's other features up here in the, in the search page. There's a dictionary. There's no control vocabulary for this website. There's no source or anything. But if a kid is, is coming across a term that they don't know, they can use the dictionary feature to look it up, which I think is very helpful. So you can see this is the one that we're looking for. But also brings up the, the Greek mythology term. Um, and there's an atlas. I, that's why I searched it. There's an atlas right here. So this can also be helpful when kids are exploring about different regions and areas. There's also a link that, that takes them to different uh, newspapers. Um, the video library. This is obviously, again, designed with kids in mind. They can explore here, click around if they want to watch a video on snakes. One critique I have is that you can't search within the library. It's not a limiter in the advanced search, and when you search here, this is just going to do a main search. So it's going to take you to their, the, the search page for ancient Egypt, and you're going to have to click there to get to the video. But other than that, I think it's really helpful and useful for kids to learn about databases and how to search. Very user-friendly and also very helpful for educators as well.